I'm still broke. What? You're still, excuse me? I'm still broke. Uh, what's, what are you, what, what's going on? Well, I bought a parrot for Jalil. I bought this purse. Mm. I also bought the dog a treadmill. Was what? that wrong? What? A treadmill for the dog? You know how big he is. You know how he drags his feet. No, 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 no. I gave you a solution for your issue. And you go out and buy a purse and a parrot? That's where we are? Check this out. So what I'm going to do is write you one more prescription. This is it, all right? Because I don't want your brokenness affecting everyone here in the office, OK? Uh, I'm going to write you one prescription. You have got to fill it. You've got to fill it. I can't take it all the way through for you, OK? So if I write this prescription, I'm going to need you to take care of it and get that filled today, OK? Go to your bank instead of a local bank. 
that money costs money every time you use someone else's bank. So bank fees, um, ATM fees, those kind of things add up. So watch on your fees because that too will suck your pockets dry. And number six is prepare snacks and meals when you're on the go. And this goes if you have children of a family as well. But I too work a lot and I like to pack a lunch because that certainly allows you to save money instead of going out to the local store to charge up extra money. So that too will be a great reward for you too. Pack a lunch and a little bit of snacking will reward you. And the last thing is reward yourself. And when I mean reward yourself, that doesn't mean go crazy. That simply means in a normal way, reward yourself maybe for a weekend, a couple of days, take some time off because now you've, you've saved enough, you've budgeted correctly and you've done everything the right way. It's stressful enough that we have to go through life, but if you can reward yourself, certainly do that to take some time off and, and enjoy yourself, okay? So all of those together, those seven good tips, Michelle, should show you how to keep more money in your pocket. They're very simple tips, but at the same time, they're useful and practical so that you can keep that money in your pocket, all right? So that leads us to our face tweet of the day. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink it. And that's by the faith is me. Guys, thank you so much. Uh, Michelle, hopefully that was a perfect A to your cue. And anyone else that has any questions about budgeting, financing, certainly getting out of that broke mentality is technically the thing you can do every day, but it takes little baby steps in order to get there. We, I do work with a company called Financial Education Services. I welcome you to go to protectionthatpays.com and what that will help you do is show some other helpful tips on what you can do to budget your money, save your money in a more effective, uh, quicker way. So we're always about helping you learn and, and, and also educate others at the same time. So share that website with others, see what you think about the 11 minute overview that gives you a little bit of a commercial on what we do and the services that can help you budgeting a little bit better, okay? So thanks so much for your time, you guys. This is the opportunity for you to chime in. Give me any comments that you have about Lori TV, I welcome them. Please come on over to Lori TV. You can also find out how to be featured on the show. We'd love to have you on, giving some other great helpful tips to your public about your business. So thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time on Lori TV. So you broke here? Yes. You broke here too? Yeah, Dr. Woodchuck. <laughs> I bet you broke here, aren't you? Yes, Dr. Woodchuck. All right, let me see your hands. Yes, Dr. You're Woodchuck. You're broke there too? Yes, yes, I'm broke there too, Dr. Woodchuck.